Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how it was my experience going to Berklee College of Music as a transfer student and um, as an off-campus student. So if you guys want to see how that experience or hear how that experience was for me, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so for me, uh, let me give you my little little background okay when it comes to college so i originally went to suffolk university um here in boston and it was all business school i originally used to go to a high uh performance arts high school where i balanced academia and uh music performance and stuff like that so i was pretty comfortable doing both but going to suffolk university was pretty much just all business and even the jazz class the jazz clubs or the arts clubs were not enough for me at all wasn't what I was used to and since it wasn't one of my more like it wasn't really a class it was like a club I felt very like off throughout my whole experience there not to say Suffolk University isn't a great school it is I, I would really recommend that school it just wasn't for me so I decided to try out Berkeley I originally didn't apply to Berkeley because I actually didn't think I would get in like I was just like no music is not actually what I'm gonna do as like a career like no I can't be I have to focus on business because you know coming from a Latino household an immigrant household they tell you to be doctors they tell you to be accountants or lawyers or all that stuff because you know you want to better be better for the family and bragging rights even um but that did not work for me i was just not happy and i don't want to be in a career that just does not make me happy so i was like okay let me just try it over let me see if i can even get in so i got in <laughs> obviously i got into berkeley decided to go um but i live very close to berkeley so i was like i'm gonna live off campus plus berkeley is very expensive so i just saved myself around 13 to fourteen thousand dollars for that year so i was like i'll just i'll just save that money um but yeah berkeley is very expensive um and since i'm a transfer student it wasn't like i was again like i already had a year in college i was a little older than some people that were coming in freshly but there are transfer students like they actually placed me with a lot of transfer students so even then you're not really that left out they had like something like meetings they have a bunch of meetings i feel like personally what i've learned is that there's so much going on in berkeley is hard you can't be in everything um and that could be a lot like really overwhelming it was it is very overwhelming for me still like i haven't really even gone to anything and i've been at berkeley for a year i have not gone to anything like no clubs no performances nothing because it's just so much it's hard for me to like choose what to go to so i just end up not going into anything plus i don't live on, on campus so it's very hard for me to go and i'm i'm a ex i'm an introvert so it's also and i'm not very social so it's very hard for me to meet friends it's just me this is not everybody's experience there are some people that are, are transfer students who are who live off campus and make tons of friends and are a part of everything but that's just not my experience because i am me and you are you so who knows what happens if you decide to go to berkeley or if you're just you know okay let's see one so yeah so me going to berkeley i was like immediately happy because a lot of the classes are mainly music classes um especially coming in it was a lot of theory but you also have things like english and stuff since i am a tra I, since i am a transfer student i already had classes that i could transfer over from suffolk i got to transfer over like 14 credits which kind of it was i mean i was happy about it but in total in suffolk i had like 32 or something like 36 it was in the it was in the 30s range for sure so it kind of sucks that only half of those credits around there were able to transfer but something is something for sure but yeah, because I was a transfer student, I didn't have to take all those classes all over again at Berkeley. And I was able to actually take classes with upperclassmen at some of the time, like integrated with some upperclassmen because I already had previously taken that class. So yeah, it's not all music. It's also, you can get your business classes, your English classes, depending on the major for sure. I had a liberals class where we talked about like um, things going on around us and uh homeless to homelessness and all that stuff there's a lot of different topics that you could actually choose to pick from but it was very interesting immediately i felt kind of left out to be honest just because i wasn't involved like and it's, it's just gonna happen if you're not living off on campus because 
when you're living on campus you have a roommate and that roommate knows people or, or you know people or the people on your in your your um floor like you know what i mean it's just way more easier to get to know people and that's just the reality of being an off-campus person but that doesn't have to limit you depending on the person that you are it definitely limits me for sure though um so i it's hard for me to make friends i i'm i can be social when i want to be kind of but i don't know i i feel like i just personally haven't found like the group you feel me like that group of friends um i already have two semesters and i've left with a couple of people that are cool that i've met on the okay y'all cool peoples i don't know if i've had people who are friends 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 but yeah there are clubs that i've thought of going to um but i haven't been able to go because again i don't live on campus so once i finish classes i'm out like i just go home <laughs> like i'm just my bed is calling me and my bed is nowhere near school well it's close but not that not that close so yeah it's uh, it's very hard for me to be part of the classes and a lot of times there's so many performances going on in Berkeley like every night almost and the thing is there's always like performances like starting at 8 or 10 I'm home by then you know what I mean so it's hard for me to be good at any of the performances again this does not limit you though this is just me um, it's something that I'm hoping to work on but as a off-campus transfer student blah body blah 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 this is just my reality um i know some people who are who live off campus and they have a ton of friends and so it really this does not limit you at berkeley you get like um an email uh, obviously you get an email and they literally drown your email your email with like a bunch of notifications they give you gigs uh financial advice um performances that are around people that are coming in and you can pick and choose and you should pick and choose what you want to be notified because it's just so much um there are, i know a lot of people um who really take advantage of it and are going to everything but what i've learned so far is that the most important thing you can do is stick to your classes just focus on that and if you can have time then go to those clubs then go to the performances and all that stuff because there's always going to be that going around you're never not going to have that going around so because i know a lot of people who completely slack because they're so overwhelmed by being social that you're paying you're paying 60 something thou sixty thousand dollars to be social like nah my b nah go take your classes and if you have time to be social be social that's what i've learned and even what i've heard from the professors it's so funny because like every professor that i've had at berkeley so far is just like you're paying sixty thousand dollars why not go to the class like like they, they just act like this is already like they're like the money is outrageous every single one of them which i find funny i'm like yeah i know i, I i'm not the only one that isn't like i sometimes like am i the only one that realizes it's like no the professors themselves acknowledge like this is a a ton of money that you're paying and a lot of people don't even go to their classes uh it could be very annoying to be honest um but whatever all you can do is take care of yourself make sure that you go to classes and all that stuff i would um when it comes to like clicks and stuff like that i think everybody has their own group and stuff like that i've heard a lot of people say there's a lot of competition at berkeley a lot of like oh i have these connections and oh i can do this and i can play this and i can play that and i know this person i knew that person um since i don't talk to people i can't tell you about that maybe in my the year that's coming up now i will i can hip y'all more when it comes to being more social and how that environment is but um it's just something that i've heard it's not something that i've experienced there when it comes to partying yes there are there's partying at berkeley have i gone to any of those parties no have i heard of them for sure and this to be that being said i'm not I'm, i don't go to these parties because i can't go to these parties i just i'm not a party person but if anybody's worried about can they party at berkeley yes you can party at berkeley um and there's so many cool people that play so many cool instruments who there's so many different vibes at berkeley so it's very hard for you not to find your group of people it's just me i'm being weird for some reason haven't found it yet but i will in the future hopefully we'll see what happens <laughs> but yeah I don't really know what else to talk about in this class. I feel like all the classes are pretty chill. I enjoy. I really did enjoy all of my classes because all of them have an element of music in some way. All the te most of the teachers 
have a music background even the teachers that don't teach music if that makes sense so or they're just weird like in a good way they're like different so you, you're not really ever bored but it really depends on the teacher so don't don't quote me on that um but yeah all the classes are pretty cool um you can pick and choose and there's so many options that's the overwhelming thing about berkeley there's so many options so many ways you can go about this uh but thankfully we have advisors which don't really advise though like it comes to advisors like academic advisors they're literally just like looks at the grid okay these are the credits that you need pick these classes but they're not like oh i i this is what i want to do with my life you know like advise you really like with what you want for yourself what to do what clubs to join or not like i haven't seen that at berkeley sadly um unless you get close to a teacher and maybe they can give you that advice because i've every teacher that i've had always has something to say like their whole life story who they played with this person and that person how they've been getting on their life who that that, that they've performed with this person and that person like all these teachers have like crazy amounts of talent crazy amounts of experience so if you can actually get buddy buddy with these teachers with these professors then good for you hun good for you um, and they're really open they're very happy to help you which is good and that's even going to Berkeley for a semester is awesome just because you get all of those connections even just like one for one semester which people do people just go for a semester get the the networking and leave so I'm not really going for the networking because I mean if I can then lit but my um, camera died so I'm just gonna close it here. I feel like I was talking a lot anyway. So if you guys have any more questions about Berkeley, I'll try my best to answer them. So just comment, um, yeah, comment below if you guys have any questions and I'll try to answer them um, below or in a video, I'll make another video where you guys actually ask me questions and I can answer those questions for you guys about Berkeley. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, comment below whatever you guys want to see next. And hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified whenever I post videos. And don't forget to support your girl. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys!